a cautionary tale out of this is that uh, a number of folks are going to try and use Detroit falsely as an example to push more austerity, to really cram more austerity down the throats of the United States, where, look, every study that supposedly said austerity and cutting spending in order to create growth was a good idea has been disproven. It has hurt uh, England's economy and elsewhere. I mean, England literally they can't even save the bathwater with the baby. And now they're going to try and use that to uh, use Detroit as an excuse to do more of this. You know, look, Republicans, unfortunately, when the economy is good, they want to cut spending and cut taxes, and when the economy is bad, they want to cut spending and cut taxes. That's just their answer to everything. Sally, Here is where we need spending to help. That's just the reality. Sally, Detroit is not really an example of the failure of GOP economic policies. It's been run by the, the Democrats for 60 years, and you can cite all the studies you want about how bad austerity is. All you have to do is look at Detroit and you get an idea of how bad the absence of austerity is. Um, it's a city in ruin. I think the reason that the administration is hesitant to even talk about a bailout is understand that Detroit is a precedent. The minute you step into a bailout in Detroit, you're going to get every city in the country lining up with a tin cup. And that's why I think even this administration, even this administration um, is going is to hold back from doing this.